Hey guys, welcome to my meal prep video. So I'm making a Mediterranean chicken bowl and a teriyaki turkey bowl. I adapted these recipes um, from some ones I found online. I'll put that in the description box below so you guys can look at them. I don't have the recipes really written down. I kind of just like winged it when I modified it, but you'll see how I do that and I'll answer any questions if you have them. But here we go. For lunch this week, we're going to start with our Mediterranean chicken bowl. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So first you're going to grab your chicken breast tenderloins. These were on sale, which is why I got them. For the marinade and the Greek yogurt sauce, I opt for non-fat Greek yogurt. Instead of plain olive oil, I use basting oil, which just is olive oil that has herbs infused into it, but you can use regular olive oil. You can do fresh lemon, but I opted for lemon juice. And of course, garlic powder and onion powder. Add all of these ingredients into a plastic bag and let it marinate for about 20 minutes. After the chicken is finished marinating, you put it on a cookie sheet with a little nonstick spray or some olive oil. And at this point, they should be pretty evenly coated. Um, I like to put nonstick foil under it as well. I just find the cleanup to be a little bit easier. For a little extra flavor, I add some of this all purpose salt free seasoning before putting them in the oven. While the chicken is baking in the oven, I'm going to start chopping up my cucumber, tomatoes, and red onion for the cucumber salad that's going to go along with the chicken. So this is about the size that I like to chop these up for this particular salad. Everything is added to a bowl with olive oil, lemon juice, garlic powder, onion powder, and black pepper. In another bowl, I add some Greek yogurt, some lemon juice, olive oil, uh, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of that original seasoning that I used on the chicken. Now that everything is finished and ready to go, I take five to-go containers and I portion out brown rice. I use the minute rice that is easy to make just by popping them in the microwave because it's just convenient. And then I add a little bit of my cucumber salad, um, chop up some of the chicken into bite-sized pieces so I don't have to worry about that on the go. I am topping everything off with my Greek yogurt sauce, um, and I put it right on it. However, you can put it on the side if this is something that you'd want to heat up. I just don't always have a microwave at my disposal during lunchtime, so I just put it right on there. Next, for my dinner this week, I'm going to be having teriyaki turkey bowls. I prefer to use lean ground turkey instead of extra lean. To add some volume to this dish, I'm going to be using riced broccoli. You can absolutely make your own, but I buy mine pre-made. For even more volume, I'm adding baby bella sliced mushrooms. I'm going to be topping everything off with some scallions, but this is completely optional. For the sauce, you're going to need less sodium soy sauce, poison sauce, a little honey, and cornstarch. And of course, some riced cauliflower. So we are going to start with our ground turkey cooking on the stovetop on medium heat. I just want to make a note that I do prefer the lean ground turkey instead of extra lean because when you take out all the fat, the texture gets really dry and crumbly and that's not how I want to eat my ground turkey. Once the ground turkey is fully cooked, I just set that over to the side. Then I get started on my riced broccoli and portobello mushrooms. I just add these to a pan with a little bit of olive oil, some salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and cook these through until they are fork tender. Next, in a medium saucepan, I add all the ingredients for my sauce and let that heat up until it comes to about a light boil. You don't want it to be too hot because you are going to be adding cornstarch very shortly after it warms up, and it will gelatinize too fast. It did happen to me, and I did have to remake this sauce. So I added cornstarch to cold water, and now I'm going to be adding this to my sauce. After adding the cornstarch, your sauce should really thicken up. Here you could kind of see some of those gelatinized pieces when I said that I messed up the sauce. So I ended up remaking it, but then you just add your ground turkey straight into the sauce and you are pretty much done from there. I heated up the cauliflower according to the instructions on the bag and then just evenly distributed everything I've made so far into five to-go containers. Then I'm just topping them off with a little bit of scallions. Anytime I make any sort of Asian-inspired food, I end up topping it off with toasted sesame seeds, which I just picked up from the international aisle at ShopRite. They were like $5 for a bottle and totally worth it. But otherwise, we are pretty much done with our meals, and I am ready to go for the rest of the week. I hope you enjoyed watching me uh, kind of prep my meals. I don't know. That was kind of disorganized, but 
it's fine, we'll get there. Um, meal prepping is super, super, super important when you're trying to eat healthy on a budget, on the go, um, when you're lazy AF, like myself. I take a couple hours out of my week to just make the harder meals of the day, which to me is lunch and dinner, um, and then I I don't have to really think about it. The only thing is you're eating the same thing for five meals, which is why some people only do it for like three days, then another three days. I don't have that luxury right now, so I'm just kind of sucking it up and eating those five meals every day. I will let you know how I feel about them at the end of five days when I do my talk through about how my first week goes. Um, but these were really delicious. And also, this is just foods that I'm eating. I don't know what the macros are. I don't know what the calories are. I kind of figured out how many calories I need to eat a day to lose the weight that I'm trying to lose. But like, if, even if you do like the science behind it, it doesn't mean it's going to happen. There's so much more to all of that. So I'm not really so worried about it. I just kind of want to see how this first week goes and then modify if I need more food, if I'm still hungry. It's a learning process. There's no one's going to be able to tell you like, yes, this is enough food. You will feel great. Like, I feel like you kind of just got to figure that out on your own, which is something I'm trying to do. Um, I hope you really enjoyed it and I hope to do more of these in the future. So thank you again. Uh, subscribe, like, share, do what your heart tells you to do. Um... Uh, have a great week.